Welcome back to The Last Door. We just learned more about the history of this island, as well as the disappearance of the Lord's son, Kirin. And I think the next thing to do is learn more about his disappearance and probably try to find him. So she said that his, um, his place was back here, which I think is where this note is. So let's see if we can gather some more information about Kirin. A paper with black circles painted on it. Hmm. There's some kind of worm drive. A uh, worm drive inside. The remains of an insect and some drawings engraved on the desk. I'll take the drive with me. It may prove itself useful. Alright, I guess that's the only thing of use in there. A worm screw. It is a piece of a large mechanism. Hmm. Perhaps it came from the same thing that this cog came from. Like little fragments. Strewn about the island that are all part of some larger machine. Strange. A picture of a slender woman. Apparently a goddess. Wearing a black dress and having a murder of crows around her. Is signed with a name. Uh... Bod Katha? I'm not quite sure how you pronounce a D and a B next to each other. Bod? Is it just a silent B? Or a silent D? Or... Ah, who knows. Somebody knows, but it's not me. A shelf of handmade books with unfamiliar titles. Most of them concern strange rites. They'll dance around the burrow. Around the burrow they'll sing. It's cold inside as winter. Don't get too close. Don't get too close or else they'll pull you in. Ah, so this leads around to here. Gotcha. Okay, so what do I do from now? Uh, what do I do from here? All the villagers are gone. Hmm. That's eerie. What time is it? Maybe it's getting late and everybody went home? Well, the boat's gone. A bottle is floating on the water. It's caught in the seaweed, just out of reach. I think there's something inside. Oh, I can probably use this to get it. Paper is rolled up inside the bottle. Gods remain silent as the fog settles. We may look for the king beyond the clouds, but find the queen with a fiery crown. Okay, so what can I do? I've got a bottle, I've got a screw, a cog, a drawing. Hmm. I have no freaking clue. Let's just go around and see if we can find anybody. I wonder if we can dig up the mirrors that the people around the grave buried before. Oh, no, they're still there. Anybody want a bottle? No? Okay, bye. I probably should go back to the hole, I'm guessing. Actually, before that, I don't suppose I can open this up with a screw or something, can I? 
Nope. Hey, kids. Were you Kieran's friend? He was nice, but he didn't want to play much. He was mostly for going in the hills by himself. Was Kieran not scared of the marsh dwellers? No, he said he had seen them and that they were and that they were not that scary as uh, not that scary as Aunt says. I think that's why they took him. You think the marsh dwellers took him? Yeah, for sure. Before he disappeared, he said he found a treasure. A disc with a beautiful drawing. He took it from the old house in the hills. Maybe the marsh dwellers wanted it. The old house in the hills? What? Where would that be? What old house in the hills? Group of jagged rocks. Just the same description as before. Do you recognize this drawing? I found this drawing at the school. Is it yours? That? No. Kieran painted it a long time ago. The drawing is Kieran's. There could be a clue here of his whereabouts. Oh, maybe this will find me the old house in the hills. What is this? That's the crooked one. They say a villager defied it, and the next day her house was burned to the ground. They say it was the crooked one, paying her back. That's the house where Kieran found the treasure. Do you know how to get there? Sure, it's easy. Oh, thank you. I'm not really sure why I had to show the picture to the kid to get him to tell me where it was. I don't know why I couldn't have just asked him normally after he mentioned the house that had the treasure in it, but okay. A wicker statue sporting a pair of animal horns. The twigs look fresh. You know what? A wicker statue. This whole... This whole um, episode of this game has been reminding me of the wicker man. Quite a bit. So a wicker statue. This must be a reference. Like, this must be heavily inspired by the wicker man, right? It's gotta be. The whole coming to a place where you're not really familiar with what's going on, and there's strange rituals, and you become a part of the rituals, and that whole sort of thing, that's totally The Wicker Man. Although, I've got to be honest, I haven't actually seen The Wicker Man, so I, I'm not very familiar with the plot, I just know what I've heard in, you know, plot summaries and stuff. This must be the house that the child was telling me about. Kieran was here just before he dis just before his disappearance. A mailbox. The envelope is very old. It's stamped returned, and there's a letter inside. My dear cousin, I am poorly. I would ask that you not call upon me here at Eyeless Moor. Not now, nor ever again. Please keep Grandmother's ring. I believe that she would have wanted you to have it. Yours faithfully. Brigid? Hmm. There's something else in the envelope. Is it the ring? Yeah. An iron ring. Oh, iron. That's what the, uh... 
the, the dwellers, the creatures, are apparently afraid of. Iron. A small, thin steel ring. Wait. Wait, steel? I thought it was iron. Huh? Well, anyway. You want the ring, wicker dude? No. A metal trap door. It seems to lead to some sort of basement. Is there a body over there? On the left? What is that? I guess I'll find out in just a second. I think this basement might have once housed a library. It looks like it was not burned as badly as the rest of the house. Uh, even so, little here remains intact. Oh, that's not a... <laughs> oh my god, it's this that's in the foreground. That totally looked like a body to me. You know, slumped like right there. Maybe if I move over a little bit more. Hold hold on, let me leave and come back to reset his position. Yeah, look at that. So this thing in the foreground here. Right here. This looks like a body slumped over, and it just happens to connect with some tan-colored stuff on the table that looks like a hand. So it looks like this is a body, that's a hand, and that's another hand. But then when you move... Whoop. Eerie. Remains of the books, scorched by the fire. Most of the pages are ashy or blackened, so the text is illegible. A common carpenter's brace. A tool like this would be used for drilling holes in wood. It could be useful later. Hmm. I can probably use that for the barrel. This table has been upended. An ornate chest. It's inside untouched by the fire. It was probably opened long after the inferno died down. There's a diary inside. It is signed Brigid Latesend. Several pages towards the end are missing. Seventh of August, eighteen o one. Words cannot express the gratitude that I feel for Aunt Mare's bequest. May her dear soul rest in peace. This house is just what I needed to still my nerves after the exhausting pace of life in Dublin. Dublin? Dublin. September 1801. I would not have thought to find such a remarkable library hidden away in the basement. It includes several magnificent tomes on the most picturesque customs of our land. I found Aunt Mayer's diaries next to an odd iron disc, but the contents of the diaries were appalling. What could have happened that dear old mare would write such things? The damnable place that she speaks of. I must know if it really exists. I am resolved to investigate our family's crypt. It would be prudent to wait until dusk before traveling to the Northern Cape, so as not to be seen. The abbey was in such a state of decay that it was nearly impossible to find the mural painting in the dark. Fortunately, a dim light happened to shine through a gap in a wall, illuminating the face of the sentinel. I believe Aunt Meyer's iron disc is needed to open the secret passage. Okay, hold on, so this is the, the key piece of information. The abbey, so there's an abbey somewhere. And a mural painting. And 
and a face, and I need to use the disc somewhere in there. Alright, where is this abbey? Is this the legacy of the Late's End? I can stand to bear it no longer. A fire will put an end to this blasphemy and cleanse the land of our family's curse. And should the fire prove insufficient, may this testimony serve as warning. Miss Ladesend must have found something abhorrent in her family's crypt. If I could find out what it was, I may learn about the Crone Maiden. My intuition tells me that I must act tonight, or else it will be too late. Anything more in there? Oh, God, no. Don't reread it, please. Okay. Looks like some sort of makeshift bed. Was Kieran sleeping in this terrible, lonely place? The side of the basement seems to have collapsed during the fire. Alright, seems like that's it. Oh! Who did that and why? The wicker statue is burning. Who did this? You know, I got that eerie feeling that when I left this building, somebody was going to be waiting for me. Nobody seems to be, but that's just, just about as eerie. Alright, uh, before I go to the ruins, I do want to know if my brace can be used for the barrel. Ah, I can. Okay. I may be able to drill a hole in the barrel using this brace. And then, like, collect the contents, maybe? Now that there's a hole in the barrel, I just have to push the bottle in a bit and... I managed to fill it with oil. So that's what was in it. And I'm assuming... <laughs> I'm assuming that's not, like, olive oil, but the kind of oil they use for lanterns. Mineral oil. Oh. What the heck is mineral oil used for? I don't actually know. I don't think it's used to burn. What is mineral oil used for? I don't remember. But yeah, I don't I know it's I know it's not used for cooking and I don't think it's used for burning. So is it just lubrication? Hmm. I guess we'll find out soon. It's another wigger statue. I wonder if this one is going to be burning soon, too. I wonder who's coming out here to burn them. Wicker statue stands like a silent guard. Its presence makes me uncomfortable, as though I have trespassed on forbidden grounds. The dome appears to be Roman in origin. It is in better condition than the other, uh, the other ruins. Okay. Is there something here I'm missing? I'm definitely missing something. This can't be all that's here. Where's the abbey? Hmm? Maybe Wicker Statue wants some cogs? No. 
I'm definitely missing something. This is the Abbey, right? And she mentioned that it was in an incredible state of decay. There's a crack in the wall. Light shining through a mural. I don't see a mural or like a crack in the wall or light shining. Um, hmm. One thing I haven't done for a while is go back to the manor. Let's, let's go back there and see if anything... Oh, wow, okay, this is different. Yeah. This is probably what I've been missing. There's probably something to pick up here. This is this seems to be Athena, goddess of wisdom, war, and the arts. She's dressed in armor, seeming to be ready for war. The statue appears to be very old. Its appearance suggests that it could date back to ancient Rome. The door is locked. The manor appears to be dark and empty. It's a safety bicycle. I still do not understand how they manage to keep balance with such small wheels. <laughs> I may find a way to fix this chain. Why did I take it, though? I'm guessing the chain... That, yeah, I'm going to be, like, restarting some piece of machinery. I've got a cog wheel, I've got a screw, I've got a chain. Albeit a broken chain, but it is a chain. The noise of the swing, gently being moved by the wind, is the only thing breaking the silence. Um, I'm sorry, but that's actually not true. This thing over here is making noise. This water wheel. The mill wheel. Something is preventing it from spinning. Hmm. Something jammed in it, maybe? Oh, is this the thing I'm supposed to fix? A strange mechanism runs from the mill wheel's shaft into the building. It seems to be lacking a small piece. I think this is what I'm supposed to fix. I'm assuming I can't go inside. Kieran's playroom is written on the door in hand-painted letters. The door is locked. I don't know why I tried that again. Okay, let's try to repair this thing. So a piece is missing. It's gotta be one of these two things. Not that. What about the screw? There we go. Oh, that's all that was needed. Now the water wheel is working. Cool. Not really sure why that helps me, how or how that helps me. Does that magically open the door? No, that doesn't magically open the door. So yeah, what did I accomplish? I really don't see how that helps me at all. Not even in the slightest. The chain's missing a link. Can I use the ring? Oh. The ring fits perfectly on the chain. I'm sorry to use Brigid's grandmother's ring in such a manner. Still, maybe now I can get the bicycle to work. That is a very sad use for <laughs> a family heirloom kind of ring used to fix a bicycle chain. Would that even really work? 
I mean, not that I wouldn't be able to connect it, like, sure, fine, but I mean, if you actually run that on a bicycle, wouldn't it just, like, as soon as it hits the ring part, wouldn't it just totally mess up and, like, skip? Or just get jammed or something? That just seems really bad. That seems really, really unsafe. I think it's gonna turn this safety bicycle into an unsafety bicycle. Do I need to oil it, too? No, not yet. I think it is now fixed. Hmm? What was that sound? Okay. So, why did I repair the bicycle? It still looks like it's missing its front wheel. The one that I took the cog from. It's well, well oiled as it is. Okay. So yeah, what, what was that noise? I don't even get why I repaired the bicycle. I don't get it. I don't get it. What am I missing? What was that noise? Why did I repair the bicycle? Bye, I guess? Did somebody arrive at the manor? Knock knock. Oh wait. The, the statue. The statue. The Roman statue lies shattered on the ground. To destroy such an ancient statue, could this really be part of the festival? It's been replaced with a wicker statue. The Roman statue has been thrown down and replaced with a wicker one. It's very strange, but I still don't get why I fixed the bicycle? Even though I didn't really fix it, because it seems like it doesn't have its front wheel? I'm confused. I mean, I think the other wheel, if I'm supposed to get the other wheel, was... Uh... Like, right at the beginning? Hmm... It was... Yeah, actually, let's go this way. Oh, the people are gone. Maybe now I can dig up the mirrors if I want to. I would rather not interfere with traditions I do not quite yet understand. That is a good idea, actually. I feel like something has happened somewhere invisibly, like some invisible trigger has happened and I need to just like visit every location again to find what it is. Okay, that's different. Only dark. I cannot hear or see a thing. Eww. I need a lantern. Can I take one of these lanterns? I need light. You can't play the last door game without light. You're gonna need a light at some point. Well, she's gone too. Yeah, so here's the other wheel, I guess. But no, you can't take it. I, what is up with the bicycle? I don't get it. Alright, let's visit every location again. Stuff has changed. So I already went back here, found the bottle. Hmm, this might involve a lot of backtracking, I don't know. I I'm gonna cut here, and I'll, I'll come back when I find something new. Oh, here we go. Yep, it looks like the kids have left stuff. It's a drawing of some sort of spiked circle. Is it the sun, or something else? That's the same symbol that's up there next to the big hole.
The child that I spoke with earlier seems to have left his mask here. Oh, that red thing flew away. I guess I better go catch it. But before that, let's go up the hill. Hello! Kid that left your mask, did you fall down the hole? Hello! No reply, must be dead. There you are. Hmm, come on. Lame. <laughs> it's gonna blow away as soon as I go to try to get it again. I can see a lighthouse in the distance. Come on, grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it. Okay. A red ribbon. I think it was part of the child's mask that was left behind in the hills. It may have provided the light that Brigitte spoke of in her diary, but the lamp is off. I wonder if it has been abandoned. Hmm, so maybe I have to go fix it to actually get the light that I need to find the mural? Is it easier to do that than just get a lantern or something? I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Uh, is this part of tradition too? To hang a wicker statue? ghastly custom. This wicker man is in the shape of a hangman. This tree looks like it has been dead for a long time. A strongly built lighthouse. It looks like it's in very good condition, despite the thousands of storms that it must have withstood. I never even try the front door with this game because I know it's always locked. No one's answering. Wait a minute. Wait, so you're telling me that he tries on the first door that I tried? Like when I first started playing this game, the first door that I tried to open... The first, when I tried to use the door, the only thing he would do is try to open it and find that it was locked. He never bothered knocking. But on this door, he only knocks and he never bothers trying to open it. I don't get it. You are very inconsistent, Dr. Wakefield. Hey, there's someone inside. Yeah, I just saw something in the window. It's a dim light inside. Someone is inside. Maybe I can make some kind of noise to attract their attention. A white copper pipe runs from the tower to the ground. It's covered in salt and seaweed. Well, I could probably bang that, right? There you go. Sounds like it attracted someone's attention downstairs. I feel like they're gonna come out with a shotgun or something. It's like, damn otherworldly creatures! Why? Hello there. Good evening. Would you happen to be the lighthouse keeper? 
My name is Wakefield. A stranger. And what would he want from me? I'm a visitor to Eilis Moor. This lighthouse caught my eye. And since it's dark, you thought it to be abandoned? Well, it's not. Even though I can barely see a thing, this is my house. So, going blind, I guess? Why is a lighthouse lamp not lit? Is it not dangerous for the ships? Do not let it concern you. Many years ago, the sea lanes were altered to avoid this coast. Now it's rare indeed to see a ship in these waters. After the accident, the lighthouse was never repaired. You say you had an accident. What happened? I was checking the lenses because the failure looked so very strange and I was worried. All of a sudden, the light must have gone on. I was blinded and can see nothing but fleeting shapes ever since. Is a lighthouse lamp powerful enough to actually permanently blind you? Or permanently partially blind you? Is it that powerful? Huh. Was there a failure in the lamp's mechanism? Precisely that. One stormy afternoon, I suddenly heard a strong noise up in the light room. The clockwork mechanism had stopped working, and the lamp was off. I had never seen a failure like that. I could not get the lighthouse working again. Has nobody else tried to fix the lamp since? No. No one in the village is interested. For them, the more isolated Eilip, Eilis more is, the better. They do not care about ships or accidents, especially Lord Donnan. He sees anything coming from outside of the island as a threat. That's what I thought, although he seemed and appeared very welcoming. I understand. Do you know anything about the disappearance of Lord Donnan's son? A tragedy it was. A strange one, but a tragedy nonetheless. What was so strange about Kieran's disappearance? I just find it a bit suspicious that it happened so close to the reunion. It's too easy to be keeping secrets during the festival, being how everyone is afraid of leaving the village those nights. What do you mean? Look, folks here are too gullible. They'll do anything to protect themselves from their strange fears. They'll not eat corn, nor drink milk, or they'll dig graves for their mirrors. And of course, they'll avoid standing near a fear nog too long, because, though the fiends cannot touch the tree, they're attracted to the smell of its resin. But sure, it's all nonsense. Look, it's really easy to prove it all wrong. Just don't follow the rituals. You're a stranger to our ways, but have you seen any of the things I mentioned? Well, I did see a group of people in the village burying mirrors. Exactly. What do you think would happen if you unburied the mirrors? That a band of goblins would come out of the marshes to steal them? <laughs> Nothing but nonsense. What of Kieran's disappearance, then? Well, I'll admit I'm not sure what happened to the boy. But one thing I'm sure of, this festival of reunion is nothing but a farce. It would be just so easy to prove it. Might I go upstairs and see the light room? Even though the lamp is off, I should like to take a view of the surrounding countryside. Well, I do not think you will see anything, really. But if you are so interested, yes, I guess you may. Thank you for the pleasant conversation. I must go. Okay, yeah, so I think I do need to actually repair the lighthouse uh, lamp. It's funny, I'm a freaking doctor and I'm going to be repairing a lighthouse. It seems like it's not quite, you know, my specialty. But, hey, I've got oil, a ribbon, and a cog. 
And if you can't repair a lighthouse with those three items, then how could you ever repair a lighthouse? Alright, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, I will repair the lighthouse. <laughs>